What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Bluff City Nerd here, and I'm back with, with you guys with another video. I know it's been a good minute since uh, I last uploaded, but I just really haven't found too much I really want to talk about on YouTube lately because, like, you know, it's already oversaturated with all the other stores that were pretty hot. But this right here kind of really caught my eye, and I know a lot of people are talking about this right now, but I wanted to give my, my, my two cents on it because. It's, it's it's almost a shocker, but not a shocker at the same time, because you have this guy EDP four forty five, who I was subscribed to at one point, not anymore, and he got caught texting uh, a third a person posing as a thirteen year old. Now he got caught doing this before six months, you know, about six six months ago but that was thrown under the bridge because he was able to basically finesse his way out of that by claiming that at that time people always troll and mess with him so he likes to troll and mess with him and that much held him out of that because there was a different youtuber that you know did the same he wasn't he wasn't like a you know catch a predator independent type you know thing or whatever like that now nah, he was just a regular youtuber that had a problem with edp apparently and a lot of people took that situation at the time as him just being a troll, him just trying to ruin EDP's life and everything. That's how most people took it because he had because this dude has a pretty solid fan base that pretty much rocks with him no matter what. Now, yeah, I've watched his videos in the past, but I've never like dude's number one fan or anything like that. Sure, he could be funny at times, this, that, and the other, but now he got caught with even solid evidence and solid receipts. <clears throat> Excuse me, that you know, he wanted to meet up with a with an underage girl and wanted to possibly have sex with her. Not well, not possibly, but he wanted to, you know, have sexual encounters with this uh, this young minor. is is very scary because yesterday there was a live stream, and I'll, I'll find a link. I'll find a link to it and put it in the description below if you guys want to go back and watch it on your own time. But there was a live stream uh, by one of the the uh, people who did the uh, the operation sting on EDP, and they had all the receipts on the um, you know all the text now and the Instagram DMs of everything that he wanted. He he started uh, everything that they were you know him and the decoy were talking about basically because it started off and it basically in a nutshell it started off as regular conversation and then things were getting very intimate. He talked about very, very disturbing things that he wanted to do with the 13 year old. Really thought he had like an actual intimate relationship with 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 this uh, young chick or the you know, the person who was pretending to be the 13 year old. And it just it just when I saw that uh, when I was watching that the previous night yesterday on the 19th, just in case if you're watching this at a later date, it, it really turned my stomach upside down that after. The decoy made it clear that, oh, yeah, I'm 13 or 14 or whatever the age was. And he continued to talk to this person and then and, 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 and build a relationship, try to build a relationship with this person. It's like, dude, how how is it that you you let yourself, you let your life get this bad? You, 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 you I mean, words can't really describe how how fucked up this is because because once before because beforehand like I said about six months ago when uh you know he you know this uh, other YouTuber who uh, caught him in the act who pretended to be a thirteen year old you know people threw that under the, under the bridge people didn't really take that seriously now with this with like this independent uh to catch predator you know uh, type you know people whatever. They got this guy, or as everybody's been saying, he was caught in 4K. I don't know why everyone keeps saying that. It is what it is. I know that's just a meme or whatever, but anyways. He was caught in the act, and there's even video footage that's been circulating around. It's not that hard to find on YouTube. I mean, all you gotta do is just type his name in the search bar, and you'll find it. Trust me. He he was on, they got him on camera. Like, the whole footage is 30 minutes long, and I think that footage will be released today. I'm might do a reaction video to that later once it's released. 
he 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 said in the video that that they caught him when they caught him when they approached him when he was going to go allegedly meet this 13 year old girl that he he admits to a lot of the things that he did in those text messages he's like yeah that's me in the photos yes that's me that said this i said this i said this and like bro after that when that i remember that i think it was a few days ago when that footage was released and it just been, it's just, it's been very downhill. EDP's uh, best friend at the time, Felipe, for those of you who, who have watched his videos for quite some time, uh, know who Felipe is. He was a person who pretty much cared about EDP genuinely, and, and he looked at him as a real friend. And he recently did a video saying that he cut ties with EDP because, you know, he has a lot to lose, and he doesn't want to be associated with them anymore. But, all the all the heat he has on his name right now. Listen, I'm wrong. We understand. We all understand. Most of us understand this one thing that our reputation is everything. And once that is tarnished, it's 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 it's, it's impossible to come back from it. Depending on what you did. And with a and with something like this that EDP did, his life is pretty much over with. Well, no, nah, not pretty much. His life is over. It's done. He completely shot himself in the foot with a double barrel shotgun. And he's not and he's, he's not going to be able to walk straight now. That's ba- that's basically what he did to himself. And what I don't understand is you have two million so over two million subs on YouTube. And I look, I'm a small YouTuber. I know this may not this video may not may or may not get any views, a, a lot of views, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm going to give my two cents anyway. How do you have this many uh, YouTube subscribers? How much money he made off off of uh, YouTube or anything like that? Because I mean, I, I don't really care. But he was pretty open about some of his possessions. He collected guns. He had a brand new Acura MDX. Uh, and he bought sixty k cash, and he just bought another car. Um, a brand new Sonata. You have two new cars, and you and you, you, you you, you you went from living at your parents' house to moving out of your parents' house to living in your own apartment, have your own pad, decorated your, your place how you wanted to and everything like that. And then your YouTube channel has gone through the roof and that you want to throw it away over some prepubescent uh, cooch. You want you wanted to be with someone who was underage and all this stuff. I don't understand what was going through his mind and why he would just deliberately throw away Years of work that he put in because he he's been on YouTube. Let's don't let's not get it twisted. He's been on YouTube a very long time, since like 2010 or 2011, I think, somewhere around there. He's been on YouTube a very long time, right? And you know, not a lot of people who are on YouTube a long time. Some some may not even see a thousand subscribers or five hundred thousand or one hundred thousand. He got to two million, and not a lot of you. And not not you don't see a lot of YouTubers in the millions, you know. He was able to do it. It took him a while to get there. You know, he was like the number one meme on the Internet for a while or one of the most known memes on the Internet. A lot of people use, you know, some clips of him reacting to certain things as a meme to make their you know, videos funnier and things like that. And you just you just throw it all away. For this. This is something I will never understand. This is something I, I, don't, I don't want to understand understand to be honest with you because it's like what's the point of you doing all that hard work if you're just going to throw it away I don't, I don't i don't i don't understand that at all but anyways i want to get into this article real quick i don't want to hold you guys too long this is a uh, courtesy of republicworld.com i will leave a link in the description down below Title of the article goes, What Happened to EDP 445? Caught on camera meeting underage girls. Bryant Truman Emerson Moreland, also known as EDP 445, an American YouTube vlogger. He's a super fan of the football team, the Philadelphia Eagles, and was recently accused of attempting to take in inappropriately, talking inappropriately, excuse me, with underage girls. Who is EDP? A report by YouTube fandom suggests that EDP 445 was born December 15, 1990, according to the media portal. He's most famous for his rant videos, also making vlogs, cooking videos, reviews, and gaming. So yeah, he just he just turned 30, and like at, at this point in your life, you've already thrown your entire life away. 
man. And for the for you who don't even know who he is, and you look at him for the first time, you would swear he was probably older than you than he looks. I know if I, this is the if this was the first time I heard about uh, EDP, and then, he, and then I find out that he's only thirty. Yeah, I would think okay, this guy has to be a little bit looks. He looks much older than what he is. But anyways, what happened? A report by Press Reality suggests that the media portal MTO News has reported EDP was caught on camera attempting to meet an underage girl. Reporting. He was caught and accused by a group of child protection activists called predator poachers. Moreover, the media portal learned that the men behind the predator poachers go online and pretend to be underage girls reportedly. They, 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 then they have an inappropriate conversation with men and arrange to meet up with them. In a similar fashion, EDP was caught on camera. The allegations. Reportedly, EDP had reached a location to meet up with a 14-year-old girl. Reportedly, EDP had been talking to the girl, and only after a while, he planned to meet her up, reportedly there, and were cameras to set up to record EDP had to say after getting caught on camera. The whole thing was live streamed for over a year. Nitsas have been accusing EDP of having appropriate conversations with underage girls, but YouTuber had uploaded a video in response saying that he was trolling those accounts because he thought he was talking to troll accounts. This his fan base had even bought his story and continued showing the support to him. Yeah, that's what happened about six plus months ago. Reddit user Crunchy Nar started that stated on the, the website that EDP never apologized for his wrong ways and messaging underage girls. According to the user, the YouTuber had started to slut shaming the girl who had exposed him. Reddit user also suggested that his answer that. In his answer that EDP making videos videos regular where he bashes women or rants about them. And okay, that's the end of the article right there, man. Signs of his behavior were there, and a lot of people, a lot of people, including me to a certain extent, didn't really like see it or take it too seriously, unfortunately. But fortunately, like it's it's a good thing that you know these guys caught him. In the act, and it wasn't a real 13 year old that you know he was talking to, fortunately. And he so far has not uh, been charged with anything, even though pretty soon he let's just this is this is keeping a buck here. He's gonna do time. I don't know how much time, I don't know when any charge is gonna be um, pressed with any charges anytime soon or anything like that, but. Yes, the entire internet career is over with. People are gonna people have already started uh unsubbing his uh, channel. The sub if you if you go to there right now, you can see his uh um subscriber count is going down. He was at two point he peaked at like two point two million last I checked and it started going down as of yesterday. He's at like two point one, he's probably at like one point nine or one point eight by now. You can just search his name and look at it for yourself at any time. But yeah, when that live stream came out yesterday from one of the predator uh, people, from one of the people who work with predator poachers, right? And they showed that entire um, chat log. Yeah, he he's 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 ruined his entire life. And for someone who to, to make it big on YouTube and just to completely throw it all away, it just it just shows how stupid of an individual you can be. How, what makes you think that it's a good idea to, t- to talk to someone that young and you're in your 30s, man? One thing I could have, one thing he probably could have done to help his, uh, help his situation out with dealing with uh, women or whatever is one thing he was, I mean, he was a really big guy. He's about, what, 400 plus pounds? And if he, if he really applied himself and, st- and just stopped being a lazy piece of shit, and, and maybe he started working out more. He probably would have helped. It probably would have helped him out a lot more. If he could, he probably if he had just made himself more attractive, you know, the most, you know, women or whatever, that probably would have helped him out. Look, I'm no dating coach or anything like that. I'm just saying that's that's something he probably could have done. But he chose not. To. He, he but he did he did lose weight. I think. And if you watch some of his old videos, there was a point in time where he was losing weight, but he just fell off that and just got back to his original weight of 400 something pounds. But yeah, it, 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 he he put all this on himself. He put all this on himself, and a lot of people fell for the whole 
um, you know, the, 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 what was it? Oh, him saying that he thought that was a troll account at the time. And it's like, okay. He was able to finesse his way out of that. It's like, dude, he can't finesse his way out of this. He's not going to be able to uh, recover from this at all. And it's, he has no one to blame but himself. And his life is all over. Throwing the garbage. It's done. It's a wrap. But um, I've rambled about this long enough. What do you guys think about this whole situation? What do you guys think about my opinion? Um, in, in my my own point here, is it, do you think um, EDP is going to be charged with anything? Well, I think he really, I really think he is. But if you if you if you think he might not be, or he just might have to just go off the internet and uh, I don't know what he plans on doing, or or if he has any legal, he has a legal team or not. All I know is that he's he's screwed. But just let me know what you guys think uh, in the comment section down below. Let's talk about this. Were you a fan of EDP at 445 at one point? Did this uh, shock you when this uh, came out? It didn't really shock me a whole lot because, you know, as time went on, you could kind of, you could see the signs were there. That would mean for, for a lot of people, now that they look back, they can, they can really see the signs of how crazy his behavior is and, 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 how, and how this uh, destructive behavior led to this. But I don't want uh, I don't want to talk too much more about this, but you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, please uh, like, share, subscribe. I appreciate that. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified when I drop a new video. I'm Bluff City Nerd, and I'm out. Peace.